Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to continue our discussion about the biggest supermassive or ultramassive black hole in our universe and today we're going to try to recreate it using Universe Sandbox 2 or at least attempt the recreation because even Universe Sandbox 2 is going to struggle with this. Anyway, welcome to What The Math and enjoy the video. So in the previous video, I showed you the third or fourth most massive super um, ultra massive black hole. And today we're going to talk about another one. We're going to actually recreate it from scratch using Universe Sandbox, but we're going to have trouble and I'll show you why. First of all, let's actually go into the simulation code supernova in galaxy and we're going to basically get rid of the extras here that we don't need. We're going to zoom in on the black hole here and place um, a star in orbit around it and we're going to choose the largest possible star in terms of size. And so I'm going to place UI Scutai in a very very close orbit to this black hole and then we're going to zoom into the star and actually erase the black hole. Now I'm going where I'm going with this you'll see in a second I'm actually trying to create another black hole here that is going to also be um, a quasar or I guess in this case it's going to be a fake pulsar. Now if I enable realistic mode it will actually go supernova and if I do it again it's going to become a blue a giant and here if you go to the bottom uh, there's a button that's going to appear uh, in a second that's going to be called make pulsar and here it is so now we've made a pulsar and we're going to basically increase its power by increasing this number right here and we're going to look on the outside just to see if this is actually looking like a pulsar. And here we go. So we've made a galaxy that kind of looks like a, uh, basically a quasar. It's essentially a very, very bright galaxy that is pointing its um, relativistic jet, which is this thing right here, directly at us. And it looks like this. Now, I'm going to rename this into S50014 plus 81, which is essentially the name of this particular galaxy. And this is essentially what it might look like um, from, uh, from a distance, basically from being somewhere close to it. Um, it's a very, very large quasar with an ultra super massive black hole. Now this black hole is actually a lot more massive than you see in here. It is, as a matter of fact, 40 billion suns. But the problem in this particular simulation is that it will not change the size if I actually change this. Uh, the size of, the, of this black hole remains as 7.94 astronomical units, which is the size of US Skatai. Now, this is, of course, a bug. This is a bug in a game that allows me to create this um, or relativistic jet and also allows me to turn this particular star into essentially a black hole of the same size and mass. But unfortunately, this is not a very good representation of this particular galaxy because this actual black hole is a lot larger. So 40 billion masses of the sun is essentially something like 10,000 more than um, the black hole that we have in the center of our own galaxy. So our uh, black hole known as Sagittarius A star is a lot, a lot less uh, big. It's basically a lot smaller. It's, it's a lot less massive and you can kind of see how it, uh, the other supermassive black hole dwarfs our tiny, tiny Sagittarius A. Uh, and, but this is actually not even the full size. Like I mentioned, the size is actually much, much bigger. As a matter of fact, the actual size of this black hole is uh, approximately th this big. It's about 1600 astronomical units in radius. And so to demonstrate this, I'm going to go into another simulation because unfortunately the game does not allow me to um, increase mass or increase um, size of this black hole. I can increase the mass, I just can't increase the size uh, anymore. But before we do this, let's actually just briefly talk about this actual quasar. Now, it is ridiculously bright. If I were to place this quasar at a distance of about 200 or about 300 light years away from, from our sun, it would be just as bright as the sun. It would actually provide us with just enough energy to, to be a sun. And this is at a distance of about 280 um, light years. Now also in comparison to our own Milky Way, or I guess all the stars in our Milky Way, this quasar is about 25,000 brighter. It is ridiculously, ridiculously bright. And every single um, year, this beautiful black hole absorbs something like 4,000 masses of the sun. So it actually swallows 4,000 suns, and let's just demonstrate this. So it swallows 4,000 suns every single... Um, every single year and I think I accidentally destroyed my black hole by smashing suns into it and by causing supernova. But anyway, 
let's actually go into the different simulation now and talk a little bit more about the size of this thing. And so the, using the regular solar simulation, we're actually going to compare the size of our own solar system to the size of that ultra supermassive black hole. So let me just zoom in for a second. There's Earth, there's Mars, there is Vesta and Ceres, there's Jupiter, we have Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. And now as I zoom out to the distance of about 1600 um, astronomical units, I'm going to demonstrate to you the actual size of that thing um, in terms of just using this golf ball basically in terms of the solar system. So this is approximately 1600 astronomical units and this is actually the size of that humongous black hole. Now this might not actually give you a good idea of how big it is um, until I create this right next to our solar system. So let's do that. Let's actually take, let's take this. Let's take a pool ball number eight and we're going to just kind of make it orbit around um, our solar system at a distance of about uh, 2000 astronomical units. And then we're going to zoom into it and um, make its actual radius same as the radius of this particular black hole known as S50014 plus 81 central black hole. And so once I change its size to 1600 astronomical units, it's going to become this big. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right next to our solar system and it is absolutely ginormous. There it is. This, this whole darkness in front of you, this is how big that black hole is. Now I'm going to go to Earth for a second. And so there it is. You can kind of see the edge from our planet Earth and it goes all around our solar system. And basically that is the size of that ginormous object. I can also go into charts here and as I zoom out from our sun, you'll see that the sun actually makes a reflection here, but the actual black hole is, it's kind of hard to see, but it's basically right here. It's this huge, huge object. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to release the timer and let's see what happens if I basically let everything fall into this huge eight ball black hole. And why is it called eight ball black hole? Because I actually used the eight ball or pool ball eight uh, to make this, oh, okay then, to make this black hole. And it's not really a black hole, it's just an eight ball, but looks like this uh, eight ball just destroyed everything in like literally less than a second. Okay, let's actually just try this again. Maybe I'll put it a little bit further. And so now I decided to put it at a distance of a few light years. And here we go. I'm going to release the timer again. Let's see what happens to our solar system. I think it's going to be attracted to that black hole and move at a ridiculously high speed. Whoa, that's that's impossible. It's moving at faster than speed of light. Now, what's going to happen next is anyone's guess, but this actually looks kind of cool. So we're basically approaching this pool ball eight and we're going to, I'm guessing, smack into it any second now. Now, I wonder if this is actually going to crash my game because I might actually reach some kind of a interesting phenomenon that we've never observed before. And here you go, you can actually see everything being spaghettified because the gravity here is a lot stronger than the gravity here. So the entire solar system is being spaghettified and boom, look at that, everything destroyed. That was surprisingly cool. That was actually a really, really cool destruction of our solar system. Thank you, Pooh Ball 8, you have been a very, very interesting black hole to simulate. And anyway, so that's essentially what this supermassive black hole might look like and how big it is. And um, in the previous part, I also showed you the other quasar that also has one of the brightest and one of the most massive black holes that you can find in Space Engine. And so I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you enjoyed this little explosion that I just created. And let's actually just do it again right before I finish this video. And anyway, thank you so much for watching everyone. I appreciate all of your support. Give you later. And as always, oh, oh. Oh, bye-bye. What did I just do? What was that? That is awesome. I think I've just discovered some kind of a really cool effect. And what did I just create? And turns out this is some kind of a interesting red looking black hole. That is awesome. That is really, really cool. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.